Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is trends in unemployment. What are the scenarios in which unemployment is increasing? What are the scenarios when it's decreasing? And it should be very easy for all of you to understand is that is that this is strongly linked with economic performance. So what that means is that when the economy is doing well, what do we mean by the economy doing well? It's producing a lot. To produce a lot, you're creating a lot of employment. People are finding their, you know, the jobs that they want, and unemployment rate is at a very low level. When the economy isn't doing too well, let's say we're at a recession, production is falling. When production is falling, firms don't want a lot of workers, so they're not hiring many people. They're firing their existing workers. <coughs> Excuse me. And as a result, unemployment is very high. So what we usually see during recessions are two things. Okay, so suppose the economy has entered a recession. What that means is that demand for goods is falling. Now, if demand for goods is falling, firms are going to reduce production. If they reduce production, they don't need as many people as they have. So the first thing that they're going to do is stop hiring new workers. I mean, if, if your business is expanding, you're hiring more workers. If it's contracting, First thing you do, you stop hiring new workers. And if the recession gets even worse, what you do is lay off, or in a more extreme term, fire existing workers. Okay. So, during a recession, the reason unemployment situation gets so bad, let's go back to the diagram. And if we look here, in this relationship, what we see is that on a monthly basis, there is a very, uh, a very a, a high level of movement between employment and unemployment. A lot of people are moving in both directions. But if the first thing happens, if you stop hiring new workers, what happens is that people who are unemployed are no longer finding employment. Uh, did I, oh, I crossed off the wrong thing. People who are unemployed are no longer finding employment. So this is gone. And, and that is the first stage where the trouble starts to emerge is that employed people are still losing their jobs and becoming unemployed, but unemployed people are no longer finding jobs. And that's when the unemployment number begins to rise. And then of course you lay off or fire existing workers when that happens, this figure, this gets bigger. It's 1.8, it starts to go up 1.9 to 2.1, 2.2, and so on. And so you, you, you have a large number of people who are leaving employment and are becoming unemployed. And over time, if firms continue to not hire new workers, what you see is that this number goes up as well. From unemployed, you become discouraged and you start to leave the workforce. At the same time, what you also see is that this disappear because firms are no longer hiring. So from out of the labor force, you can no longer enter the employment area. So this is gone. 
and this this starts to increase as well and so well I've, I've sort of created a mess of the diagram here i'm just going to erase all this but you guys understand how this works out and there's a lot of different ways of analyzing this figure i've done it in one way but i will encourage you guys to sort of just sit and think about this interlinked relationships so basically in a nutshell what you can see is that during a recession if you are unemployed probability of new job goes down and if you are employed your probability of losing your job goes up and both of this conspire it should be obvious conspire together to increase the unemployment rate okay so i'm just going through the recession case i'm sure you guys can uh go through go through the same pattern and understand the expansion case the opposite happens when the firm is expanding first of all the probability of losing your job goes down because the firm needs workers why will they fire you probability is going up and probability of finding a new job is also going wait i, I think i said that wrong so your probability of losing your job is going down because the firm needs new worker why will they fire you and the probability of new job is going to go up because the firm is hiring more workers they're expanding and so when those two things happen together it's going to decrease the unemployment rate so i'm sure you guys can work that out uh, make use of this diagram try to understand how the relationships play out and how that is going to affect the various figures that we calculate and if you have any problems you can obviously come and ask me <laughs>